The player of the game was Chase Bowden, 6 for 10 shooting, 16 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 blocks, 2 steals. That's a stat stuffer, guys. <laughs> like, that's how you play basketball. Credit Lethbridge for that, and I think uh, one thing I have to say about the coach for Lethbridge is that they went small ball. You know what I mean? They, two of their biggest big men were in foul trouble early in the game, and they, they started, you know, shortening their lineup, getting three-pointers, getting out in transition, you know, getting the rebounds, being super active, and that's exactly how they won. They took absolutely took over that fourth quarter to get that win. Me and Masood would just lift up our headsets and just allow the viewers to realize how loud it was truly. Yeah. We could barely hear each other talking to each other and we were right beside each other. Yeah, I usually with my headsets, I usually put the one of them up. Yeah. It's just so I could hear Liam a lot closer and I couldn't do it. I had to put it down just so I could hear the full thing and it was absolutely crazy. So yeah, but he is right, we did have to do that. Less than 10% from three, that's like me when I played basketball. <laughs> and that's not good enough. You cannot do that. You, especially when you're in the CCAA national tournament, you have to hit your three pointers because three pointers are valuable. Let's get our predictions done. We can't just, we can't beat around the bush. Sorry, okay. Okay, bronze, I've got Mohawk and Humber, final answer. Humber for gold? Yes. Final Mohawk, <laughs> final answer. <laughs> nice. Mohawk and VIU, just because I, I got to go against Kevin. You got to go against Kevin. I got to go against Kevin. Right. Mohawk and VIU as well, Aww. for me. Aww. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I have to do it. I feel like, you know what, I think Humber, as much as I like Humber, I feel like VIU's, they've played well against Mohawk. And if you can beat Mohawk, you have a chance to beat Humber as well. That's good.